delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Good day, grade 11 students. We are here again for the new episode of our TV School on Air featuring Earth and Life Science. I am your teacher, Teacher Jennifer Dilinaga. Are you ready to learn more? Let's start! Welcome to the Earth and Life Science Grade 11 Alternative Delivery Mode Module on Genetic Engineering. After going through this module, you are expected to First, describe the genetic process of engineering Second, distinguish genetically modified organisms from non-genetically modified And third, explain the advantages and disadvantages of genetic engineering Before we head on to our lesson you will answer a pretest. Don't worry, your scores will not be recorded. This is just to check how far have you gone in our lesson today. Here's the instructions. Choose the letter that bears the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Do not leave any item and answer. You have only 5 seconds for every item to answer. Did I make myself clear? If so, let's start. Question number one. What is genetic engineering known for? A. Recombinant DNA technology. B. Genetic modification. C. Biotechnology. D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter D. Question number two. When does the birth of the first cloned animal, Dolly the Sheep, announced? A. 1994 B. 1996 C. 1998 D. 2000 The correct answer is letter B. Question number three. What do you call 
a member of a population of genetically identical cells produced from a single cell. A. Mutant B. Sequence C. Plasmid D. Clone The correct answer is Letter D. Question number four. What organisms that contains genes from other organisms? A. Donor organisms. B. Cloned organisms. C. Transgenic. D. Mutagenic. The correct answer is letter C. Question number five. Which include one of the advantages of genetic engineering for agriculture? A. Cloning plants. B. Increasing yield. C. Curing genetic diseases. D. Mass production of plants. The correct answer is letter B. Who got the perfect score? Who almost made it? Don't you worry, class, because we haven't started just yet. So much is in store. Have you ever heard about genetic engineering? What is genetic engineering? In 1973, Stanley Cohen and Herbert Boyer developed the first genetically developed organism. They isolated from an African clod frog gene, the code for ribosomal RNA. They inserted it into the circular DNA of bacteria called Escherichia coli. When the bacteria underwent a process of transcription, it produces frag ribosomal RNA. Such a process of manipulating genes is called genetic engineering. How does it work? To help explain the process of genetic engineering, let us take the example of insulin. Normally, insulin is produced in the pancreas. But in people with type 1 diabetes, there is a problem with insulin production. Therefore, to control the blood sugar of people with diabetes, they need to inject insulin. Genetic engineering has been used to produce a type of insulin very similar to our own from yeast and bacteria like E. coli. This genetically modified insulin, also known as humulin, was licensed for human use in 1982.
How is DNA used in genetic engineering? Our traits are governed by the messages we get from our DNA. Changes from minute to large segments can result to changes not only in a protein's ability, but sometimes to a phenotype of an organism. Genetic engineering is the process in which genetic material is transferred from one organism to another. This is achieved through manipulation of the DNA. Doing this is possible because DNA is like a universal language. All DNA for all organisms is made up of the same nucleotide building blocks. Thus, it is possible for genes from one organism to be read by another organism. Artificial selection is the most traditional form of genetic engineering, wherein specificity of synthesis of target DNA sequence is less than the current genetic engineering technology. It has application in the pharmaceutical, industrial, agricultural, medical, other industries. Changes in the DNA of an organism can cause a change in traits and its manipulation could lead to the formation of genetically modified organisms. As the knowledge of the DANA advanced, more genetic modification techniques were developed. Recombinant DNA technology is the technique of combining two DNA sequences from different sources. One goal of this technique is to clone a particular gene for analysis or mass production of a medically useful protein product. Bacteria, yeast, and cultured plants and animal cells are usually used for recombinant DNA experiments. The first step in recombining the DNA from different species is to clone millions of copies of a single desirable piece of DNA. Molecular cloning is done by cutting the desired DNA fragment into a vector, usually from a virus or a bacterial plasma. A vector in molecular cloning refers to a DNA molecule used as a vehicle to carry a foreign genetic material to another cell. A small plasmid from E. coli is a circular DNA containing about 1,000 to 20,000 base pairs that can replicate independently inside a bacterial cell. Specialized enzymes are also used to cut DNA molecules in specific regions to allow the insertion of the new DNA. Meanwhile, genetically modified organisms or GMOs are living organisms whose genetic material has been synthetically manipulated in a laboratory through Genetic Engineering or GD. A seven-month-old sheep named Doggy became a celebrity. Do you know why? Dali is the first cloned animal announced in 1996. What is cloning? Cloning is a method that scientists use to produce a genetic copy of another individual. In other words, Dali 
is a clone of her mother. We have already described the process of genetic engineering and distinguish genetically modified organisms from non-genetically modified and explain the advantages and disadvantages of genetic engineering. Now, kindly get your one porch of paper together with your ball pen. We will now be having our assessment. Just write the letter of the correct answer and write it in your answer sheet. You have 5 seconds in every item to answer. Are you ready? Let's start. Question number 1. What is genetic engineering? A. It involves transcription and translation. B. A process of altering the genes which you find in all living things. C. A method that scientists use to produce a genetic copy of another individual. D. None of the above. The correct answer is letter D. Question number two. What are vectors? A. Bacteria B. Virus C. A and B D. A only The correct answer is Letter C Question number 3 what is the first cloned animal? A. Dolly the sheep B. Dolly the goat C. Dolly the mice D. Dolly the rat The correct answer is Letter A Question number 4 what best characteristics is called a cross between the similar individuals to bring together? A. Genetic engineering B. Inbreeding C. Hybridization D. Sequencing The correct answer is Letter A Question number 5 What organisms that contain genes from other organisms? A. Donor organisms B. Cloned organisms C. Transgenic D. Mutagenic The correct answer is letter C. Have you answered all the questions correctly? If so, good job! For your additional activity, kindly answer the following assessment on pages 7 to 11 of your module. We will be collecting all your answer sheets by the end of the week. Another session has again ended. I hope you learned a lot from today's lesson, Genetic Engineering. See you all in the next episode of our School on Air. Once again, this is teacher Jennifer D. Linaga saying, Genetic Engineering has never been about controlling the world. It's all about saving the world.